Mercedes has had historic success this year, winning their sixth consecutive double world championship. But the team doesn't stand still. And just as they're always on the lookout for new young driving talent, so they're always nurturing young engineers as well. The team has graduates and placement students in roles throughout the engineering department. And on race weekends, they get close to the action in the race support room, which provides real-time input to the team at the track. This is their race, and they all challenge themselves to do more and to be more. The race support room is an extension of the track office, so we replicate some of the jobs that are going on trackside. We will have tie wrap people in there, we'll have aerodynamicists in there, uh, but then we also have um, dedicated people like the young engineers. They watch all of the sky footage, they listen to other teams' radio, they feed back everything that they can see, they can spot, they can hear from other teams and help manage our strategy that way. Um, so I'm an aero performance engineer. Um, my main role um, regards the sort of data processing, data quality, that's checking over the sensors on the car, making sure they're all working as expected. So I've loved F1 since I was a kid. Um, always watched the races with my brother and my dad. And I was really drawn not only to the excitement of the racing, but also the challenge of the technical aspect of the sport as well. So in the race support room, uh, my role is to analyse data and try to find ways that we can improve the car's performance and also the driver's performance. And I also develop software applications which are used by the race team and also by people back here at the factory. For me, I was really attracted to the fast pace of development in Formula One. So actually I was a, a Royal Marine for a few years before I went to university. I'm a software integration tester. So we test software, we work with vehicle dynamics. We basically integrate with a load of different groups which I quite enjoy. So I'm a placement student at the minute. I haven't graduated yet, but I do maths at Bath. So Mercedes was recommended to me uh, by a friend who had worked here previously. Um, she always spoke of the really great teamwork um, within the company and also the fact that everyone was treated equally regardless of whether they were a more senior or more junior member of the team. Instead of having, as is traditional in a Formula One team, quite an autocratic, top-down, decision-making structure. We try instead, very self-consciously, to get people to buy into the fact that we're a team, to buy into the fact that being a team is going to make a big difference to winning or losing Grand Prix, and to trust them to work on, on parts of the car from much earlier than, than some of our competitor teams would. Um, I think that everybody knows that they can be really creative and also play to their best strengths to push the whole team forward. We seem to be very united. Everyone seems to work together so well, communicate well. Um, there's no finger pointing. We all win together, we all lose together. And that's what I really like about Mercedes. Yeah, I feel really empowered. I think it works really well because there are a lot of fresh faces in the company and I think they think of things in a different way to how they've been done before and often come up with new solutions to problems. I think as well it gives you the confidence to speak up about your ideas knowing that they're going to be taken seriously. Young people in the RSR are given a lot of responsibility and we have to make decisions so it's really important that you keep a level head. I take a lot of pride in my work when I see people use the applications that I've developed for the team so yeah that gives me a good sense of um, achievement. You need to be a good team player so if, if you're intelligent, bright, hardworking, great, you're going to need those things. But the people who really prosper are the ones that like working with others. Next season, Mercedes will go for a seventh consecutive championship and the young engineers will be very much playing their part in that. It's a story of constant self-improvement.